Hello, we're in England discussing some paintings which will be sent to to Malta. The, these three here are by Maria Gianni and she was Maltese Italian and there are other Giannis, there's Torre, Girolamo, etc, etc. And there are different branches of the family and there are non-family Giannis, John means John in Italian, and there are artists in Italy who use the word to make the, make their own pictures sell even though they weren't Jenny. So you'll see a huge array of different signatures but with Maria Gianni if you stick to the established signature the M with the droopy third leg and you, you, you look at the subject and how it's painted you even look at the frame you, you can use your six senses and piece together whether it is a Maria or a another one of her relatives or an imposter or another Jenny. So she she's known as a Maltese Italian artist, but most of the works I've seen are in Naples. The family as a whole did do a lot of Grand Harbour and the earlier ones using pinks, for example, from Girolamo, for example, are really very expensive pictures. So, so she was painting for the tourists, she was painting for home furnishers. They are numerous pictures. There's an awful lot of them in England, they're in France, they're in Italy, they're in Malta. But a lot of them now for sale are small, so if you get the chance to buy big ones, then, then that's a bonus. And a lot, of, a lot of the ones I've seen for sale have got mounts which spread the picture, make it look more impressive. This one here um, is beautifully framed, untampered with gouache with a clear signature, nice depth between the paper and the glass. I don't know where it is, it's going to be either the lakes or the coast around Naples, I don't know where it is. But it's well painted and of, of interest. We have another Maria Gianni on the website, bubblemorrisantiques.com, which was a top grade Gianni showing Posilippo Beach in Naples and it looks different because that painting is for a different sort of client. These these are for sort of tourists. The one the other one we have is is spectacularly well painted. And for example, she's not using their this accelerated method of painting on the leaves. This is something to watch out for. They're not sponged on, but they're accelerate it's painted in an accelerated way. You could you could say it's impressionist, it's not impressionist, it's merely accelerated painting. Uh, you'll see a lot of English painting, for example, with woodland, where they use a similar method of getting on with it. But the one that we have, the other one on the website, it's so well painted with the curls of each wave, with the costume on the men, uh, with the vegetation, and the colours are fantastic. So, so, so she had two tracks. She had a top track, and she had a tourist, a tourist track. And that would apply also to painters in Malta, like Esposito, Vin Vincenzo Esposito and Galia. You, you will find super Galias. And then you'll find that's the mass-produced galleries which he was churning out. And I think that there, there is this aspect with a lot of multi paintings of, as I say, the tourist market and the distinguished buyer, the local person, the, the wealthy buyer, the exhibition piece. So they're different grades. These are the ordinary ones. Nevertheless, they're beautiful things. I like the fact the frame is original and in good condition, not damaged, not smashed, and it's well it's well framed. Beautiful thing, bright. Lots of limey greens, lots of turquoise blues. These two here, this is overlooking the bay, Naples. This is Sorrento near Naples. There's a lot of them very similar. You'll see the winding path, the girl with the basket, um, the, the, the sea in the distance, the perspective. This is, this is Vesuvius in eruption. So this is the better picture, not only because the condition is better. We know that's Naples. I think that's Andrew St. Angelo, Castello St. Angelo. And as I say, Twin Peaks of Vesuvius in eruption, a small old Naples which hasn't yet spread in land. That is beautiful. And the frame is in need of some help, but it's it's okay. Uh, that one there has got some discoloration, which I think will come off. I think it's on the glass. The mount is discoloured. Um, I don't think the view is so impressive. Sorrento, I suppose it's 
okay, it's high up in the hills, a precipitous cliff, uh, mountains in the distance, I don't know where they are. But um, I think that they're, they are underpriced. I think that they are cheerful, innocent pictures. They are signed. Though the scene is Italian, there is this Maltese connection, collection. If those are Maltese scenes, you, 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 the price would go off the scale. So the choice is either having excruciatingly expensive Maltese ones or having something of interest for really much less. Thanks for looking.